Ralph Irvin outside of Easton Stadium where the UCLA softball team has returned after winning the school's 106th NCAA team championship. Let's get some of their reactions as they return to campus. What a great year. Um, it started out with a vision that this team was really going to focus on what it meant to be a Bruin. Our culture, you know, our, our family was important and this team has is tighter than you know, probably any team that I've been a part of as far as their commitment to being able to have each other's backs. Our culture was important. Competitive excellence was something that we defined throughout this season in 2010. And that simply meant that it didn't matter what the scoreboard said, didn't matter if they threw punches, we were going to continue to compete until the end of the ball game. Everyone contributed in every single way. Um, that's why we had this team MVP. There is no one MVP on this team. It's the whole team. Um, and it definitely does not depend on one person. Um, the whole team keeps this train rolling. Every game, uh, there's someone different that steps up, and it's, t it's definitely a team, um, a whole team that helps win games. And yesterday was everybody contributed to the win and it was so amazing to watch and be a part of. This team has worked so hard um, this whole season and um, we're just excited to bring the hardware home. Honestly, I can say I was more jittery the uh, Monday, the game one, um, and I didn't like the way that felt. And so for me, I had gone to bed Monday night just telling myself, relax, you know, it's the same game, nothing's changed, and um, go out there and just have fun. And that's all I did was had fun to go there and play the way we did and dominate the way that we did um, was unbelievable and I couldn't have asked for a better way to go out as a senior. I've actually never ended a season happy. You know, there's always like a sad moment, like, because it's always, I mean, all my seasons have ended with a loss and just ending with a national championship, I couldn't have asked for anything better. And just that moment, I wish I could have slept at the field. Like, it was the best moment of my life till, to, up to this day and um, I'll remember it forever. Last batter of the championship game, you know, great opportunity for Donna Kerr to finish out the season. She was a big part of getting us to this point and gave her the ball. And they had been rallying back and forth. You know, you know, this game, clearly we, were, we had a pretty big lead, but we knew the potential. We saw the night before, anything could happen in this ball game. Even going into the seventh inning when we were up by eight runs, I wasn't comfortable because I know they're a good team and they can come back at any time. First pitch called a strike. I just told myself we had another inning to play still, knowing obviously that once the third out was made, it was over. But to keep those nerves calm and not get ahead of yourself and, um, you know, count the chickens before they're hatched kind of a thing. Second pitch, fouled it off, two strikes on her. Honestly, I didn't even know she had two strikes on her. I w it was more of like a, I, I had no idea. She throws a change up that I still believe could have been called a strike, but it wasn't. So everyone kind of had to take a little bit of a pause, but that change up set up for her to go straight with her best pitch, her rise ball. That was the first thing I thought is just be ready, see the ball, and then uh, it was a swing and a miss, and the first thing I thought it was the game's over and we won. She pitched that third strike and she missed it. Chills just up my body and I, I threw my glove and just sprinted into the middle. It was incredible. It was awesome. It was game over. We had done it. Um, best feeling ever. Best feeling ever. It was truly a team effort and it was couldn't ask for anything better. Everybody just went crazy and I was like, oh my God, that just happened. And people are throwing their gloves and running and we're just jumping up and down together and it was so amazing. Everyone went nuts and everyone went to the center. Um, everyone was hugging and uh, it was such a great feeling knowing that we worked so hard and we finally accomplished what we uh, came to do. The dugout's emptied. I mean, the first thing that I did is I grabbed my coaches. My coaches have done so much. I'm so fortunate to have the best coaches, I believe, in the country. Not only in their knowledge, but their commitment to this program. And ultimately, that was our goal, was to get us back to being UCLA softball. And it, it felt like UCLA softball. You know, we've, we've all been able to be a part of this as players and as assistant coaches. And now for me as a head coach, and there's one thing that was very familiar. It felt like UCLA softball. We were out there to win it. We had an expectation of ourselves and we had a lot of fun doing it and it was a great day. Once again, the UCLA softball team wins their 11th national championship and 106th overall for UCLA. Of course, the best news and notes on UCLA athletics, you get it all right here at UCLABruins.com.